Mass hysteria of unknown origin causes parents to turn violently on their own kids. Welcome back to Movies Explained, today's film is a horror thriller from 2017 titled, Mom and Dad. The film starts with a scene of TV static. Suddenly, we see a mother inside her car, playing a song on the radio. Without any hesitation, she gets out of the car, leaving her child behind. Shockingly, she intentionally parks the car on the railroad tracks, putting her child's life in danger. Next, we meet Carly, a girl who is talking to her boyfriend Damon on the phone as her younger brother Josh enters the room and starts teasing her. The focus of the film is on Carly and Josh's family, including their father Brent and their mother Kendall. They have a nice comfortable life in a town where kids are well taken care of. In Carly's house, the family gathers every morning for breakfast. They have a maid named Sunny and her daughter Lisa. While having breakfast, Carly's parents watch a news report about a car accident involving a train. Carly however is not concerned about the news. Instead, she asks her parents for permission to bring her boyfriend home that night, but her parents refuse because her grandparents are visiting. Carly's mother drives her to school, but Carly is too absorbed in her cell phone to pay attention to her mother. Her mother feels unappreciated and ignored by Carly, which highlights their strained relationship. Her mother mentions that she will be visiting the hospital afterward to support her sister, who is about to give birth. Carly doesn't show any interest or concern about her mother's plans. Meanwhile, Josh, who hasn't gone to school, spends his day at home. He is a stubborn and hyperactive child. While playing with his father, he accidentally hits his head with a ball. Nevertheless, his father remains patient and continues to joke around with him. Afterward, his father prepares to go to work as usual. The scene shifts to the classroom, where we meet a girl named Riley, who happens to be Carly's classmate. Then we return to Carly's house, where only Josh, Sonny, and Lisa are present. Josh, being mischievous, is running around playing with toy planes. When one of his planes crashes, he gets startled and looks into the kitchen. Meanwhile, Carly's mother Kendall is having a conversation with Riley's mother. Riley's mother reveals that Riley told her about Carly secretly taking money from Kendall without permission. Kendall feels embarrassed upon hearing this, but she still defends Carly. While the mothers continue their conversation, their children are studying together in the same classroom. Suddenly, the phone in the class rings, interrupting the teacher's lesson. One of the students is called out of the classroom by their parents. Shortly after, the phone rings again, and another student is instructed to leave. The teacher and students are unsure about what is happening. Outside the classroom, they notice multiple police cars heading towards the school. Meanwhile, Damon, who is taking an exam on campus, sees many parents waiting at the door even though there is still an hour left until the exam ends. After finishing their class, Carly and Riley notice that all of the students are leaving because their parents have called them. Outside the school, a mother climbs the fence and gets arrested by the police. Meanwhile, the school gate is already crowded with parents. Damon, having completed his exam, leaves the class. As he exits the building, the parents begin to enter. The situation at school becomes chaotic and strange. To prevent further chaos, the police officers guard the school gate. One of the mothers calls her son and he sprints to her and attempts to scale the fence. The teacher notices the boy running and tries to stop him, but he's unable to. Tragically, the boy's own mother stabs him with a car key. The situation becomes even more chaotic as parents manage to enter the school. All the students start running away from their own parents. Some children are caught and killed by their parents in various ways. Carly and Riley continue running, luckily escaping since their parents haven't shown up. Damon, who has finished his exams, is heading home. Upon arrival, he enters the house and finds his father sitting in a chair. The house is messy, so Damon starts cleaning. As he takes out the trash, he realizes his father is no longer on the couch. The TV broadcast his father was watching suddenly turns into static. Out of nowhere, his father slaps Damon and acts disoriented. He grabs a glass bottle and breaks it, making it into a sharp weapon. Damon is silent and confused, witnessing his father's unsettling behavior. Damon's father starts attacking him, injuring his hand. Damon tries to flee his father, sensing something is wrong, but his father falls and accidentally pierces his own neck with a broken shard. As Damon attempts to help his father, he tries to attack him again. Meanwhile, Carly's mother silently cries in the car. She reflects on her daughter's troublesome behavior, despite her efforts to defend Carly from gossip. Shortly after, Kendall receives a call from her sister who is about to give birth. Carly and Riley, who have left school, plan to stay at Riley's house. As Riley prepares a joint, Carly watches the news on TV to understand the situation. The news reports a widespread phenomenon, yet the cause remains unknown. Upstairs, Riley's mother waits in her room with a photo of the two of them. Carly becomes concerned when she realizes Riley has been in her room for a long time. As she goes upstairs, she discovers that Riley has been killed by her own mother. 
Carly's mother arrives at the hospital where she becomes curious about the TV reports. The latest news suggests that the phenomenon might be the result of a group developing biological weapons or neurotoxins capable of attacking human brain impulses. This neurotoxin can transform the protective instincts of parents into hatred and a desire to harm their own children. Carly's mother immediately accompanies her sister, who is about to give birth. She witnesses the struggle and challenges faced during childbirth. After a long battle, a baby is born and placed in the mother's arms. Suddenly, the monitor screen in the room turns into static. The once joyful mother becomes violent and attempts to harm the baby. Kendall swiftly intervenes, taking the baby from her sister with the help of doctors. However, the baby's mother grabs a cutter and tries to stab the child. Eventually, Kendall successfully protects the baby, but the baby's mother continues to pose a threat. The scene shifts back to Carly, who after witnessing her friend's death, decides to flee from Riley's house. From a distance, she sees a father who has just killed his son with a baseball bat. Luckily, Damon appears behind her. Carly and Damon make a plan to rescue Josh, who is still at home. Meanwhile, Carly's father is in his office, exhausted and ignoring a phone call from his wife. Suddenly, the TV in the office turns into static noise, causing Carly's father to shout. Kendall, still at the hospital, wonders why her husband isn't answering the phone. A nurse informs her that her sister has been sedated and is no longer acting violently. The nurse requests that the baby be returned to the hospital, but Carly's mother refuses at first. Eventually, she relents and hands the baby over. In the baby's room, parents stare at their infants with a desire to harm them. Kendall calls Sunny, who is at home, to check if everything is okay. Sunny assures her that everything is fine. Worried that her husband might reach home first, Kendall decides to hurry back. Carly and Damon, already at the house, notice Sunny's parked car. Upon entering, they find Sunny mopping the kitchen floor. Carly asks about Josh right away, and Sunny reveals that he is in his room. Carly is shocked when she sees the blood-soaked mop Sunny is using. It becomes clear that Sunny has killed her own child, Lisa, in the kitchen. Fearful of Sunny, Carly chases her out of the house and immediately goes upstairs to find Josh. Josh explains that he hid under the bed after witnessing Sunny kill Lisa. Without wasting any time, Carly asks her younger brother to leave the house together before their parents return. Downstairs, Damon is surprised by Carly's father's arrival and is caught by him in the house. Carly's father is furious, and their argument echoes through the house. Happy to hear his father's voice, Josh runs to him prompting Brent to run after them. Damon intervenes, but he is quickly attacked by Brent. Carly and Josh have no choice but to flee from their father. Fortunately, Brent slips on a toy car and stumbles into the kitchen. Carly and Josh seize the opportunity to hide in the basement, quickly locking the door behind them. Meanwhile, Kendall is still on her way home. The situation outside is chaotic, with a mother intentionally pushing her child onto the road, but Kendall manages to avoid hitting the baby stroller. When she arrives home, she finds her husband lying down and wakes him up. However, Kendall becomes disoriented after looking at Brent, and both parents cooperate to kill their children. Kendall tries to convince Carly and Josh, who are hiding in the basement, to come out. Carly apologizes for taking her mother's money, but her mother reassures her and just wants them to leave the room. Carly refuses and tells her mother to leave the house. This angers Brent, and he verbally attacks them. Kendall then grabs a drill and a knife, but the drill fails to penetrate the door. Brent intends to get the gun he keeps under the bed, but it's missing. Suddenly, Kendall screams as her arm is injured by a gunshot through the door by Josh who had secretly taken the gun. Brent has no idea as to why Josh has the gun. They realize that the pin code for the safe was Josh's birthday. While Kendall tends to her injured arm, Carly and Josh wait helplessly in the basement. Their parents come up with a new plan to release gas into the basement. While setting up the gas hose, Carly's mother discovers a putrid smell emanating from the trash can, Lisa's decomposing body. She directs the hose into the basement as Brent opens the gas lever. Kendall tapes all the holes to make sure the gas doesn't escape. Carly is puzzled about her parents' intentions, she reaches out and touches a hole in the door. Kendall notices her finger and stabs at it with a knife, narrowly missing Carly. As they wait, night falls. Their face turns pale, and they struggle to breathe. Finally, Carly discovers a vent they can use to escape the room. Before leaving, she creates a trap using matches found in the room. The trap is meant to ignite the gas when their parents open the door. With their plan in place, Carly and Josh make their way into the vent, coughing loudly. Hearing the coughing sounds, Brent prepares to enter the room, and Kendall grabs a hammer and a knife. Carly and Josh are already in the vent when Brent slams the door open, setting off the match trap. They are engulfed by a burst of fire. Kendall regains consciousness and searches for her two children. Carly climbs down from the vent but the noise is heard by her mother. She chases Carly throughout the house, and Carly locks herself in her room. Despite Carly's efforts, her mother manages to enter, and Carly bites her wounded arm. 
Damon wakes up and joins the fight, helping Carly. After a struggle, Kendall is trapped in a closet. Shortly after, she falls silent. Carly and Damon assume she has given up or run out of breath. However, Carly's mother re-emerges with a broken coat hanger, displaying a psychopathic demeanor. Damon's cheek is pierced by the hanger. Carly and Josh continue to flee, but they are eventually cornered by their father. Just as their parents are about to attack them, the doorbell rings. Kendall suddenly realizes that Carly's grandparents are visiting. When Brent opens the door, his mother sprays his face with pepper spray, while his father stabs him with a knife. Brent continues chasing Josh as he runs and jumps into Brent's car. As Brent attempts to climb in, he is continually stabbed by his own father. Carly is chased by Kendall outside the house, but her grandmother steps in to protect her. Brent starts the car engine and speeds out of the garage, running his own mother over. Carly's grandfather is thrown out of the car and dies. Carly, who has regained consciousness, is attacked again by her mother. Fortunately, Damon arrives and hits Carly's mother with a hoe, rendering her unconscious. Finally, Carly and Josh tie up their parents in the basement. Despite their pleas for release, Carly refuses. They know that their parents are no longer who they once were. Their parents' behavior becomes increasingly sadistic, and Carly and Josh can only cry as they witness it. As they watch, they can only regret not showing respect to their parents in the past like they should have. The mother claims that she loves her children more than anything in the world, while their father admits that sometimes parents have thoughts of harming their own children, even though they would never act on them. The cause of the outbreak remains a mystery, but it is suggested that it may be related to sound waves from a television broadcasting static noise. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos.